In this video, I will show you how to add security to a PDF that cannot be removed. Protected PDF files are locked to individual devices, requiring the user to download a secure viewer and activate a license before being able to view it. By using this method, users cannot share PDF files with others. A protected PDF can only be opened on an authorized device and will fail to open on unauthorized ones. So what should you use if you want to protect your documents from unauthorized sharing, editing, printing, and screen grabbing? We think that our DRM tool, Safeguard PDF Security, does a pretty good job. Here's how you can use it to secure your document in a variety of ways. How to secure a PDF from copying. When you secure a PDF with Safeguard, it is automatically protected against copying. Users will be unable to copy and paste from the document in the secure viewer. And sending a copy of the file itself is pointless, since the person they share it with will need a valid license file installed on their computer to open it. First, open Windows Explorer. Locate the document you wish to protect. Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer, select any additional controls you wish to add to the document and then click Publish. The document is then encrypted. Say OK. You can then grant users access to the document in the Safeguard Admin System. All users who can view the document will be unable to copy and paste from it. Close Windows Explorer. When you open the document in the Secure Viewer, you can scroll down, view the document. You cannot alter the text or edit it in any way. If you right click, there's no copy. There's no paste option on the menu, on the right click menu. There's no top menus that support copying or pasting. Control C and Control V and commands like that don't work either. OK, so the document is fully protected. When you finish viewing it, just close the viewer. How to secure a PDF from editing. Blocklist automatically secures a PDF from editing when you publish the PDF. The document will only be viewable in the Safeguard Viewer application, which does not allow users to modify text, images, layout, or any other elements. Users can only highlight, underline, and comment. The process to disable PDF editing with Safeguard Writer is the same as in the previous section. In the same way as before, open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the Writer window, again, choose any controls you wish to add to the document and then press Publish. Your document is then encrypted, click OK. Same as before, you can then grant users access to the document in the Safeguard Admin System. All users who can view the document will be unable to edit it in any way. Close Windows Explorer. When you open the document in the Secure Viewer, you will see everything is controlled by the viewer. There is no way of editing this text in any way. If you right-click, there is no option on the menu when you right-click to edit in any way. There are no menus at the top of the viewer to assist with this in any way. So all the text and drawings, everything in this document is now fully protected. When you're finished, close the viewer. How to secure a PDF from printing. Unlike Adobe Acrobat, Safeguard's print restrictions do not rely on an honor system. Users can only view the document in the Safeguard Viewer application, which stops them from printing unless they have express permission. Here's how to secure a PDF from printing with Safeguard, step by step. Open Windows Explorer. Locate the document you wish to protect. Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the Writer window, select the Printing and Viewing tab. Make sure that Allowed Printing is deselected. If you want to prevent printing for all users, but allow specific users to print, 
then check the allow printing box and then check the limit number of copies to box and then set the number of copies to zero. You can then change the number of prints available for each user in the Safeguard admin system. Press publish at the bottom of the window to encrypt the PDF. Then click OK. Close Windows Explorer for now. Again, if we open the document in the Secure Viewer, we will see that the print icon is greyed out. If you click on it, nothing happens. Also, the use of Control P and any other keyboard shortcuts are also disabled. So we have effectively disabled this document from printing. OK, when you finish with the document, close the viewer. How to stop screenshots of PDF content. Adobe Reader does not stop screenshots of PDF content and nor can browser-based PDF security. Locklist and Safeguard blanks out the viewer application when a user tries to capture it with both first and third party screen grabbing applications. This setting is enabled by default, but you can double check in the following way. Again, open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer, select the Environment Controls tab. Make sure the Disallow Screen Capture option is selected. Optionally, you can tick the Add Screen Mask option as well to grey out the viewer application when the document is not in focus, to prevent somebody from manually referencing the text and typing it into another document. Press Publish to encrypt the document. Click OK and distribute the protected document to the users. Close Windows Explorer. Again, open the Secure Viewer. Document loads. It is now protected against all former screenshots and third party screenshot applications. OK, if somebody does try to take a screenshot of the document, it becomes blacked out. So the document is now protected against screenshots. Close the viewer. How to add dynamic and permanent watermarks. Watermarks are not an effective protection mechanism alone, but when combined with anti-editing, screen grabbing and sharing controls, they can be quite useful. Generally, you would use Safeguard's watermarks to dynamically insert identifying user information, like email and company name at view or print time, so that users cannot take a picture of their screen or distribute a printed document without it being contributable to them. Here's how to add watermarks in the Safeguard PDF Writer. Again, open Windows Explorer. Locate the document you wish to protect. Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the Writer window, choose the View Watermarks tab. Then add text watermarks. Check the box. When adding your watermark text, you can add dynamic variables. To do so, press the editing icon and choose an option, for example, username or email. This will be replaced by their actual information when the document is opened in the viewer application, saving you from protecting each PDF individually. You can also adjust the position and opacity sliders to modify the watermark so that it is more or less invasive. You can also use the double A icon to adjust the font. Optionally, switch to the image watermark tab and add a picture watermark there instead. Please note this will not be dynamic. You can also add print watermarks to a document. Select the print watermarks tab and then check the add text watermark. Modify the dynamic variables and other options once more until you're happy with the way it looks. Again, you can also add an image watermark that's applicable only to printing. Add any additional DRM controls and press publish to save it in an encrypted format with the watermark enabled. Click OK. 
As before, you can then grant users access to the document in your Safeguard admin system. The watermarks will automatically populate with their information when they open or print the PDF. Close Windows Explorer. How to lock a PDF to a location. Lockless at Safeguard can stop users from sharing PDFs by locking their usage to specific devices and locations. An employee may only be able to open a document on their BYOD laptop when connected to the office Wi-Fi, for example. Here's how to achieve this step by step. So first open Windows Explorer. Locate the document you wish to protect. Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the right window, just press Publish. Click OK. Close Windows Explorer for now. Now we need to open the Safeguard Administration System. Click on the Windows icon. Scroll down to L. Click on Lock Lizard and select Administration System. Enter your user details and log in. In the Customers area, click on the Add option. The new customer record appears. Enter the details of the new customer you wish to add. To grant access to the document for this user, select Set Document Access. Select the document you recently published and click OK. Then at the bottom of the new customer record, just press Add. The new user will be emailed their license file. Once installed on their device, it won't be able to be used elsewhere. Therefore, usage is locked to an authorized device. To lock use to a location, under the Customers tab, press Manage. Up comes a list of your existing customers. Select the customer you wish to restrict. Click on the Details arrow on the right. And scroll down to the Restrict Location area. In the Restrict Location area, you can restrict use to an IP and you can restrict it to a country. You can select a country from the list and just add it to the window to restrict the location from where the user can open documents. Once you've entered the details, just click Save. Alternatively, if you don't know these details are entering the field, you can just click Auto Detect and Restrict. This will automatically use the IP address and the country that the user registers their license from and then limit document use to that location. So once you've selected those, again, just click Save. Are you sure you want to save? Yes. OK, that's all there is to it. When you're finished in there, just log out and close the browser. If the user tries to register his license from an unauthorized location, the following message will appear. If a user has already registered their license and are then restricted to a location, the following message appears. How to make a PDF expire. Safeguard grants publishers various expiry options, including the ability to revoke access to a PDF after a certain date, a number of days after the first use, and a number of views or prints. Adding expiry options in the Safeguard Writer application is simple. Once again, open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, Right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer, click the Expire in Validity tab and tick the relevant box to customize your time based expiry options. You can set the document to expire on a set date or after a number of days from first use. Pay particular attention to Verified Document Access section. This will determine how often the server checks whether the user's license is still valid. We will set this to each time the document is open. To enable print and view expiry, click the printing and viewing tab. Select the allow printing box. 
set the number of copies you're going to allow, say five, and then click no access after print copies depleted. Then set the number of views and how many views you're going to allow, and let's say three. Once you've set the settings, click publish to encrypt the document. The document is then encrypted, press OK. You can then distribute the protected document to your users. Close Windows Explorer. If you open a document that has been set to expire on a certain date, you will see the date that expiry is due in the bottom right hand corner of the window. If you try to open a document that has already expired, then the following message will be displayed. How to track PDF use. Tracking when and on which device a PDF has been opened can be useful for both compliance and tracking down leaks or copyright infringement. You can enable logging in Safeguard PDF security in the following way. Again, open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right click on the document and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer, choose the Printing and Viewing tab. Select the Allow Printing box. Optionally, you can set how many copies you would like to allow to be printed. Then, Log Print Requests and Log Document Views. OK, once you've set those, press Publish to encrypt the document. Click OK. Close Windows Explorer and distribute the protected document to the users. In order to view the printing log or the viewing log of a document, you will need to open the Lock Lizard Administration Server. Go to the Documents area, identify the document you wish to check on, click on the Details tab, and here in the Manage Access area, you've got the option to view document open history and to view document print history. We will look at the view document open history. Screen comes up confirming the document you're looking at. For which customers? We're going to select all customers in this case. Just use the check button, then say OK. Between what dates? We will just say between June, June the 1st, and today. Once we've got that, we'll say OK. Underneath, you then get a listing of all the customers you've selected and any that have opened and viewed the document. Here we've got one person, Alan Jones, that's viewed the document twice. OK, and you can export that to a log if you wish to save those details. Close that window and you do exactly the same to view the print history. OK, so once you're finished viewing these details, just log out of the admin server and close the browser. How to send a secure PDF via email. Once you have applied all the necessary controls to your document and published it, you can send the secure PDF file over email as you would any other file. As users can open it unless they have a valid license file on their computer and the file is protected with 256-bit AES encryption, there are no risks associated with its interception. Again, open Windows Explorer. Identify the PDC document you wish to send by email. Right click on it. Choose Send To and then Mail Recipient. Your mail client should open up. Change the body of the text in any way that you wish. Fill in the details of who you're sending the document to and then click Send. Close Windows Explorer. The best way to add security to a PDF. With effective, enforceable controls, no use of insecure passwords, and a variety of enhanced watermarking, logging, and expiry options, Safeguard PDF Security offers a far better value proposition for companies that want to prevent unauthorized editing, copying, and distribution of their PDF files. To add security to your PDF without passwords and protect your royalties or sensitive information, Take a 15-day free trial of our DRM software.